Jesus Christ, what is a boson, man? What is a fucking boson? In particle physics, a boson is a subatomic particle whose wave spin quantum number has an integer value. O, 1, 2, etc. Bosons form one of the two... Oh, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, uh, here we go. We've got more about it. Let's move. What is a boson? In particle physics, a boson is a subatomic particle whose spin quantum number has an integer value. What does that mean? Bosons form one of the two fundamental classes of subatomic particle. Right, let's think about this. What is this actually saying? All right, we've got to think every word counts in particle physics. I know this. They are so clever. They are so evolved. They are so advanced. And yes, they are in charge. Right, in particle physics, so that's dealing obviously with the realms of the cosmos and everything, and everything minutiae, macro, huge and massive and tiny, and what's this? Right, little big things, major massive things, and light. The speed of light, they say, is unsurpassable. But tonight, I hope to prove them wrong. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing there to see. Okay, in photoparticle physics, a boson, right? So we have to think about this concept of a, um, of a boson is a subatomic particle, so that's something very, very small indeed, whose spin quantum number, right, okay, I know what to do. We don't understand what they're talking about now. What is a spin quantum number? Let's look it up, shall we, children? Hold on, I'm going to look it up for you, and then we'll get right back to you, and everything will be amazing. Okay? Jesus! Goodness me! The spin quantum number, what does MS mean? The spin quantum number, MS, describes the angular momentum of an electron. The spin quantum number, MS. What does MS mean? It's the, well, it describes the angular momentum, okay, I get that, of an electron spinning around the nucleus, right? An electron spin around an axis and has both angular momentum and orbital angular momentum. An electron spins around an axis and has both angular momentum and orbital angular momentum. And has angular... Okay, okay, so it's like the genius symbol, okay, in science, right? Because angular momentum is a vector, the spin quantum number, S, has both a magnitude half and direction plus or minus. You didn't know that until today, did you, chaps? Well, what the fuck are we dealing with? Some of us just want to watch neighbours get high and have a good laugh. But some of us are trying to work out techniques to travel the universe and find intelligent life on not this planet, although there is. Don't let them deceive you. This world is not ridden full of genii, but there are most definitely genii at operation at the highest caliber of life. We know this because the internet and all its facets is not made by ignorant crack dickheads or weirdos or perverts or losers or scammers. It is made by a very, very clever system of highly orchestrated, integrated human events working in tandem to generate the dream, not just the American dream, but a dream beyond the likes of which anything has ever been seen on this entire planet since the dawn of time. We are evolving hugely as an intellectual people. Do not be fooled to think we are not. If you're feeling stupid, then you're out of the game. If you're a bit of a div, then don't worry. We'll look after you with care in the community, which is going on, all right? Just because you're a retard doesn't mean you're out of the equation. Hold on to the knowledge of the system. The system is here to protect you and I and all in a glorious ideology of potential and dream 
and knowledge and information which is just like wow if you're semi intelligent and like interesting things which I do okay so back to the homework for tonight chaps we've got to work out what the spin quad vector MS describes the angle and electron spins around next to them but we've got to work out the spin quad vector all right, okay all right well, I've got a good question I've got a good question Spin quantum number of a, here we go, photon. Spin one, speed of time, spin one. Spe I say the speed of time is one if time is eternal, because speed divided by time is how you work out the speed of something in maths, right? It's so simple, GCSE knowledge mathematics, but it could be used to work out the speed of time if time is eternal, right? Okay, if time is inf... Sorry, I make a mistake. If time is finite, then I have no idea what the answer is. But if time is eternal, then if speed equals distance divided by time, we divide infinity by infinity and we get 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So we so the speed of time could be argued to be 1, which is spin 1. And that's the spin number of a photon, which is the speed of light and the fastest thing known in the entire cosmos. Okay? Until maybe the involvement of aliens using high-tech light detailed information packaging systems from faraway systems to send subliminal messages in fragmented moments of brief reality to the believers and the chosen who are grouped not as one in this world but as independent isolated individuals if you have had a, 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 an epiphany a divine moment a, a seeing of UFOs or angels or anything like this you are blessed and you've got to keep going and you've got to keep going and you've got to believe and use your noggin, use your noggin to work out shit because there is higher intelligence out there because I've met them. Uh, right, do photons have spin of one, no, of one or naught? The spin of photons is well known. There you go, it's well known. Everyone knows that shit. Everyone knows the spin of four as well. Are you some kind of asshole? Right? They have a spin of one, which means they have three possible states. Projections. Oh my god. It's like the Trinity all over again. Of angular momentum, which correspond to left and right circular polarizations. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tonight. That's huge. I might be able to work out a way to travel space-time continuum in a highly advanced manner without using mechanization. Imagine. Imagine. Okay, so chip. Okay, so check it out. These are my calculations so far. We're in a bit of a quandary, but I've just realized something weird, right? Speed, right? We're trying to work out the speed of time if time is finite. So what? How do you work out the speed of time if time is finite, right? So what is the distance? Well, it can't be infinity. So it has to be x, right? In algebra, for an arbitrary numeric, a value. X divided by 300,000 kilometers an hour. I should note that. I should put that in. No need to be sloppy at this juncture. But how can we divide X? Because we don't know the scale of the entire universe. We assume it's infinite, but it might not be. We're told by God that it might be. And we assume that it is. So that's why I think the speed of time is 1. But let us think it is x over 300,000 kilometers an hour, which is the speed of light as calibrated correctly by very clever people indeed. So now we move on. Okay. Okay, so you got a life tonight. you got a life tonight. I'm going to do this. 
I just told you that the speed of time is 1 if time is time, <coughs> which we can't easily prove. But what if, theorizing, the speed of time was close to the speed of light? We may be able to work out if time was finite due to the speed of light, or indeed the speed of time if we postulated time was finite. And then we use time to define time to work out the distance divided by time. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, I'm going to hone it down, try and chill out, get settled, look at it from the night, and the hoo, really try to crank this out because this is exciting. This is very exciting. This is the edge of knowledge. This is the potential truisms into reality and knowledge of the universe beyond the likes of which we have never seen before. If we can understand the world we live in, if we can understand even a micron of God, then we become like angels in divinity. And we have to know, we have to educate ourselves in his wealth of love and realm and wonders and possibilities. Science is only the enemy of God to the morons. Do you get me? Science is knowledge. Religion is science of God. It's the, it's the recorded ancient proofs of experience with the divinity. And we must come to know this and come to appreciate this. And then with a little further thought and great acumen, We may just save everyone. Good night. Oh no, wait, I haven't finished. Got to work out the speed of time if it's uh, finite. Be right back. Okay, Scopa. According to their estimates, the universe is 13.7 billion years old with an uncertainty of 200 million years. Right. Let's take that number and apply it to the concept that time is finite. It can be done as we know the scope of the universe. Working out the equation of the speed of time if time is finite can't be done can't be done in maths yet without knowing one of two things one the true scope of the size of the universe and two when everything will end i don't think everything's going to end for a long time actually uh, how you deal with that in a human level of understanding what with the chaos of barbarians and scallywags is another matter entirely. But the end, uh, even in the Bible, even in the, uh, the Holy Prophecies, it's not the end yet, I don't think. Um, I was, believe it's Timothy where Jesus prophesies the, the seas will be roaring with rage. And that's even if there are seas, and then later on in the apocalypse, there were no seas on this planet. That's a long time to go, kid. Don't worry. The seas ain't even raging under my rule, my friends. We got time. We got time to love and live and be chilled and love one another and be really cool and friendly and have good times. But, you know, don't sin. Don't sin. God has given us ten commandments. One, oh, one, the spin of a photon, the speed of time, and oh, nothing. Okay, use them both together, you've got binary. Binary, one penis and a vagina, is the essence of computer high intelligence technology, right? I honestly believe it is possibly sub subconsciously accidental, but the one and the zero in binary represent man and woman 
making life. But we've done it intellectually. And I think it's amazing. I think it's huge. I think it's so clever. And I think you're all genius for who's involved. I don't, I don't think that twerk down there is a genius. I think he's a bit of a knock. But apart from him, um, no, really well done, everyone. I think you're fantastic. You look, look at this intelligence about us. It's just unreal. It's just so unreal. So basically, um, the speed of time has to be one, which is a photon spin number in quantum physics, because um, if time was finite, then how do you measure bit? Oh, maybe it could be done. Bill, we have to measure the years. The distance is the years. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got a number to times by 300. But this won't really work, really. But it's fun. It's a fun exercise in theoretical maths. So years, so years. 30, right, we might 13. Oh, wrong pen, mate. Wrong pen. 13.7 billion years old. That's a lot of numbers. 13.7 billion. Okay, I'm going to divide the theoretical age of time by the speed of light and see what the number is. Let's see what we can do here, chaps. God damn it, this is exciting. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So let's do this. We're going into the hard time equations. Hold on to your hats, children. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to so do this. I'm doing the ridiculous maths. Look at those alien lights, that's so alien, that's alien, that's really alien information. See the alien lights, it's all quantum tonight, chaps. This is fantastic. Alright, divided by 300 equals. Oh my fucking god. No, that can't be. Look at that. Got the devil's number all the way through. Fuck me. I had no idea this was going to happen tonight. But that's four or five and a string of demonics with a holy seven at the end. That tells me as an amateur numerologist in religion that the concept of trying to work out time being finite is littered with satanic evil. However, the seven at the end gives us truth to rejoice and the knowledge of the holy sacred lord and the 45 at the beginning that's if you go around shooting people who you think are guilty and evil when they're not 